Hey folks, it's Dom with Florida Deer. Today, we're in the owner's manual of my 1023E on page 400-3. That's right, 400-3 because John Deere doesn't know how to do regular page numbers in their manuals. It seems like ever. They've never been able to do that. Every, as far back as I can remember, they have these weird ways of organizing their pages. So anyway, on page 400-3, if you're not familiar with your owner's manual, it talks about the three-point hitch specification. So what can the three-point hitch lift on a 1023 and a 1025? They can lift, it says here, rated at 758 pounds behind, uh, 24 inches behind the lift points, and then at the lift ends, it says 1,177 pounds. So we're gonna check that out today. And what made me think about this video was the video that we did on the 445 uh, a month ago or so, and that tractor ended up lifting substantially more weight than I thought it would. I thought it would be about four or 500 pounds, maybe a little bit more, and it ended up being closer to 800 pounds, and that was using the same ballast box loaded the way it is. So right now we're gonna start at about 520 pounds is what I have between the box and the weight that's in the, the ballast box. And I'm actually gonna put uh, a piece of wood across there, which I don't know how much, I'm, piece of wood I'm gonna assume is about a pound or two pounds or something like that. I'm actually gonna include that. And then I'm gonna start putting bags of concrete and I think I'm gonna run out of bags of concrete so I'm gonna use bags of lime. And yes, I'm using the bags of concrete for a fence and I'm using the lime for the yard. Um, but I didn't wanna proceed with those projects until I used them for this, obviously, uh, this project right here and because uh, wheel weights and suitcase weights and all that stuff is very expensive. So this is much cheaper weight. So we'll get into this and uh, we'll see how much she can lift. Okay, folks, so here we are. I went ahead and decided to just throw three bags of concrete on there with the 520, three bags of concrete that brings us right to 700 pounds. I think it'll lift that no problem at all. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on another two bags of concrete. So that'll be 820 pounds. Okay, 820 pounds, here we go. Okay, so it was a little slower, but it picked up 820 pounds. Let's see if it can do 900 pounds. That was 900 pounds with these two additional bags of lime at 40 pounds a piece. We'll go ahead and throw in some more weight. Alright, so this is 980 pounds, and I do have it at full throttle right now. Full drop 
one load to make it 940 pounds, see if it can lift it all the way up. That's 940 pounds that can lift all the way up. It didn't seem to want to lift 980 though, very far. So we'll let it down, see if we can stick 1,020, see how far off the ground it gets. Okay, so that's a thousand twenty pounds, and most of that is well aft of the as far as what 18 inches out, maybe something like that. It was about an inch off the ground at a thousand twenty pounds, so that's 520 plus 300 in concrete plus another 200 in bags of lime. Yep, that's 1,020. So, that's what she can lift. 940 all the way up and 1,020 one inch up. It's a big difference in a small amount of weight. I, would I figured I'd try one more time at 940 pounds to see how quickly the tractor will raise that amount. So there you have it. It can lift 940 pounds all the way up, albeit a little bit slow. Now, this is just a test for fun because, you know, what the heck are we going to lift with these little tractors? It's 940 pounds. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways, you know, just because we have tractors and some spare weight, I just figured I'd check this out. And, you know, I don't know what it would be exactly at the pins, if we could put the weight exactly there, if we could put all the weight exactly at 24 inches obviously it would be different if this was so this was this figure you know which was 940 pounds all the way up or 100 or 1020 pounds an inch up is somewhere between at the pins and 24 inches out which was between the 758 pounds and the 1177 pounds that they gave you actually it was 758 1177 you know what i'm saying so anyways i hope you thought this video was interesting if nothing else informative maybe hopefully you liked it if you did hit the like button and if you wanted to see more videos like this with me messing around with my 1023 or my john deere lawn lawn and garden tractors and my ford tractor then click the subscribe button coming up here on the uh, corner of the screen and I have a few other videos you can check out as well. Just little lift tests and stuff. And just other things I've done with the tractors. So anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.